Hi, Monica. Hello. Hi. So my first question is for the both of you. Both of your characters deal with really emotionally raw moments, both in the previous season and this season. Um, what is it like getting through the more intense scenes? Mm. Oh boy. Yeah. It's um it's weird because I feel like it's um it's the show is so technically demanding. Um there were some really hard scenes for drummer this season and and as low as she feels there's also something weird that happens as an actor where it's like if you're really in it and channeling this character then you're like flying kind of so it's like this like kind of amazing feeling at the same time as this really kind of awful feeling <laughs> it's very um mm. it's uh it's it's quite an experience mm. quite an experience and of course we get to to, to make the show with people we love. So that's just like, it's, it's, um, it's quite a beautiful experience actually, yeah. Hmm. And for Marco, I mean, you have to keep the engine going is how I would describe it. Like this, this guy has so much energy and so much fire and is so alive that I think my main job in in that time leading up to it and in between is to stoke that fire to keep that that engine going so that he is almost larger than life in the way that he imagines himself to be. Um, because if I were to let that go down, if that were to deflate a bit, it, then maybe the ego would seem to be a little more deflated than it is in reality. So mm -hmm. I think that's how I would describe it is those emotional scenes require the, the, his fire to be big enough to really like a flame does um, strike in any direction. Mm. Mm. Absolutely. Um, so, and also this question is for the two of you. What is something that is always fascinated about the characters that you play? That's fascinated you. Mm. This this time around with drummer, I was, uh, she has, she has lost so much, and she is so hopeless at, you know, she she almost feels like she's already dead, and that was sort of an interesting place to find with her that there's nothing left for her. There's nothing left. Um, and so there's a kind of liberation in that, you know, uh, if you have nothing to lose, mm. then you can just keep going, keep fighting, keep, you know, um, so that was, that was a, that was kind of a fascinating discovery with her this season. Mm. And for Marco, I feel like he's spent so much of his life gathering more and more control, really um, getting into the architecture of what he had to be in order to achieve what he wanted to achieve, really like moving all the pieces exactly as they need to be with the backup plans for those pieces moving in a different way. You know, it's it's been so meticulously controlled that the interesting thing for me this season is what happens when he does not have the control that he has always had. What effect does that have on his psychology? That That was very juicy for me this season is to watch what the repercussions of that are has as they ripple through his traumas and his his upbringing and his his unfulfilled desires and and all that um that, that like messy web of of things that made him who he is and so we start seeing the cracks come through and that that was just that's fun mm. yeah absolutely um are there this is also for the two of you are there other characters on the show that you would have wanted to play? Was there any character that you thought would be cool to play? Oh man, I I think I'd make a decent Amos if I had to. <laughs> <laughs> I think that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> that would be funny. Who would you play, drummer? You play drummer? 
I don't know. It'd be interesting if we swapped. Should we swap? Yeah, that would be that would be interesting. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I'd make see a, her as Marco. I'd make a fucking great Marco. I would make a fucking <laughs> great Marco. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. I think they have similar intensities, and so it would be kind of an even swap. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then you'd get to do all the making out with all those like uh, my hot, hot, hot. The, the poly. Band. Yeah, that would be an experience. It's a perk. It's a perk of playing drummer. That's for sure. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't get many sex scenes. No. Mm -hmm. I did. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, and this is for the both of you, as you look back on your time with The Expanse, what are some of the moments that really stand out to you? Oh. Oh, man. Do you know what? It's like, okay, this is a crazy thing that um, I feel like just kind of, for me, captures the magic of this whole crazy wild ride. Um, Keon and I have been friends for a very, very long time. And, um, and we were in Los Angeles together and Dominique, uh, who I have become very dear friends with as well, um, was in Los Angeles. And we all happened to be out at dinner together. I was introducing Keon and Dominique for the very first time. Um, and that happened to be the night that Dominique got the phone call um, that the show had been canceled back at the end of season three at dinner at dinner and so Keon was with us and was like basically consoling us that our show was over we had plans to you know see a play afterwards and we all went together and to think that like the next year Keon would then be playing Marco was something that none of us could have even fathomed and the coincidence of that is like this whole show yeah. has just been like these impossible wild things coming to pass. And I think that for me is like, just thinking of that night and being like, yeah. and now we're here. And now we, you and I are here doing yeah. this. Like, yeah, there's, there's a real weird. magic to this show. And I think that it really speaks to um, the investment of all the artists and creatives and everyone crew involved. Like there's something about this this story that brings everyone together and want to give it their all, and there's something magic that happens. Like mm -hmm. that is crazy. The next time I saw Dom after that night was in the makeup trailer as her baby daddy. Yeah, yeah. You know that that's really how it turned out. And one of my favorite moments is having Marco meet Drummer. Like mm. I just got goosebumps thinking about that. Um, having that face off I like to call it you know like yeah. hit how e eager he was uh, Marco was to meet this person who feels like a warrior ally who feels like mm. the perfect fit who feels like um your mirror in a lot of ways mm -hmm. in a lot of ways was exhilarating mm -hmm. um and then for that person to be one of my dearest friends and to have those layers underneath it um, and for us, for us to literally face off as all of that mm -hmm. informed it so much. And I think it made it really um, multi-layered and juicy. And, mm -hmm. and that, that I'm grateful for. That was, a, that was really fun for me to, to be able to share those scenes with, oh. with Kara. It's a once in a lifetime experience for us you yeah. know? and to, uh, hopefully some of that magic that feeling that we have is shared I hope I hope that that the audience feels some of that with us you know it's really special that's awesome that's so full circle well thank you guys so much for speaking with me today thank you it's been great lovely thank to you. See you thank you